Hello, thank you for joining me again this week. I am slightly sort of more put together, so my hair is a bit more, I don't know, straighter, a bit tidier than the usual candy floss. I've got a little bit of makeup on and I'm also not in my old jumpers and track suits and stuff because today I have my photo taken. I actually had quite a few taken, which is a bit nerve-wracking. I hate having my photo taken. I'm one of those people, as soon as I see a lens, be it a video camera or a camera, I tend to sort of grimace um, and, and freeze. I mean, I don't do this because this, as far as I'm concerned, is just chatting to friends. I, I don't feel like, I don't know, it's really weird. I don't feel like anyone's watching me. So I just relax and I just chat and I just enjoy this. But if somebody else takes, if somebody else is going to take a photo of me, especially a professional, I'm usually tense. So, yeah, I'm not good at that. And the poor photographer, he came up and took loads of different photos. He's very, very nice. He didn't take very long at all, which is lovely. Um, and it's for a piece that's going to be in our local paper. I had an interview the other day talking about Neighbours at War, which is there, because, of course, that came out uh, in e-back and audio book at the end of May and paperback in the UK on the 6th of June, so on the 80th anniversary of D-Day. And it's out in various other places, I think, Probably the final one's probably the US and Canada in September. Um, so, yeah, it was lovely chatting the other day and being asked questions about my book, my writing. Um, but the, this is the photos, for the photos, the photo that will go with that piece. So I'm nervous to see it. Um, I was saying to my mum, why I always feel like I look very different in, in photos. Um, I don't look how I expect to see myself. And it was only afterwards it dawned on me that for the past five or six years, whenever I do anything on a screen, so I'm recording this, I wear my glasses. I talk on the phone to family, FaceTiming, I wear glasses. I do my makeup or my hair or whatever in a mirror, I wear glasses. But for everything else, I don't. And so for everything else, when I have my photo taken, I'm not wearing glasses. But I'm only used to seeing myself really wearing them. And that's why I look different. To everyone else, that's probably something they would automatically realise. It only dawned on me today. That's why I always think, I look different. Why do I look so different? I can be a little strange like that, but, but yeah. <laughs> so today I am going to continue working on my next book. Um, it's taking a lot more research, obviously, because I'm very comfortable writing books set during the First or Second World War, so in the earlier part of the 20th century. This book is set in the 20th century. It's also set in the 17th century. And it's, so there's lots of different things. Obviously the clothes, the way people spoke, um, the way people's lives were actually, what was expected of people, um, because it's set in Jersey. The roads, they, I had them going down a road that it dawned on me, hold on, that actually, uh, that road wasn't made until the end of the 19th century. And so it wasn't then the 17th century. Um, so, excuse me, that obviously couldn't happen. So it's things like that, um, but exciting. So I get to look at really old maps of the island and I'm really enjoying that. Another thing I'm doing is I've actually got to go back to uh, the designer for a cover for one of my books. So I have two thrillers that have been published um, by a publisher and I'm waiting to get my rights back and as soon as I get my rights back one of them I will change quite a bit I think the other one I will be able to not do not have to do too many changes and I can get it out quite quickly so I need a cover for it and I saw the first visuals for the cover this morning and it's gorgeous there are a couple of things I'm going to have to ask to be changed. I can do that, thankfully. They are expecting me to say that and do that. Uh, the problem is I've now got to find what I want. Um, there's, there's, I think it's the view. I need that changed. Um, and I have to find the sort of thing that I would like them to replace what's there now, you know, what I'd like to replace it with. So that'll take probably a few hours actually this afternoon. And that's what I'm going to do first. So, but it's very exciting. They've grasped some. Sometimes when you actually see a cover, because you're so close to a book, in your head, 
I mean, I'm not a designer, so I don't know what the cover's going to be. But when I see a cover, I think, well, the girl actually has blonde hair, but her hair's black on the cover, or that's not at all how I imagine the house. But of course, designers don't read your books. They're obviously given a brief. Um, most of the time, I'm really, really happy with my covers. Um, and if there's something wrong, I will say, uh, you know, actually, that's not quite right, or... Um, can we change this or something? But most of the time, my traditional covers I've been very happy with actually, um, thankfully. <laughs> it's always nice. Uh, yeah, so I'm very, very excited to see this one. I love the cover, I think, who, who's ever done this. It's a company I've gone through, but I don't know who the actual designer is for the company. Um, so that's very exciting. I'm looking forward to actually seeing the changes I'm going to go back and suggest. But again, I've got to remember, I'm not the designer. And also, obviously, you want the cover to depict the genre of the book and give a clue as to what the book is about. So a hint. So this one is quite a claustrophobic domestic noir. It's a thriller. It's psychological. And it's got to encompass all those things. Uh, also, things about the people. So the woman in it, she's blonde. She's an artist. Uh, something terrible has happened to her and her husband. And they they decide to move into this beautiful new home and try and start again, give themselves a fresh start and try and move forward as they recover from this terrible thing that they've gone through. And that's got to all be depicted in this cover. And to be honest, it actually is really good. I, I like it. And uh, my couple of writer friends and my family that I've shown it to, they all love it too. So, but they all actually came up with the same thing that I said about the cover. And that's the thing I'm going to ask to be changed. But that's what I'll be doing. So I don't know if you can hear my dogs barking in the background. I think they, the, the neighbours have their gardeners around today. So the, the boys probably heard the gardeners just talking to each other. That's all. But it, keep, it sets them off. So they're all barking madly in the house. So I better go and get on. I've got two writer friends coming today for the weekend. I am so excited. Um, I can't wait to see them and spend a few days just sitting and chatting um, face to face. That's so nice. I mean, we do, we are in conversation every single day online, but it's going to be so lovely to spend actual time with them for, for three days. So I can't wait. I'm hoping the weather is not as bad as it's supposed to be. It's beautifully sunny at the moment and has been for a few weeks. So I think we'll have some sun but we are gonna have some rain, but that's fine. Because to be honest, we'll just be chatting a lot anyway. We all have the same publishers, so same publisher. Um, so yeah, and we'll be going to a party together in about a month's time. So a lot going on, very exciting. Uh, but before that, I better get back to work. So thank you for joining me again. Um, if you have, come here again. If you haven't, my name's Deborah Carr. I write historical fiction in that name. I also write rom-coms as Georgina Troy. If you'd like to subscribe below, please do. Um, and please tell people about my, my channel. That'd be lovely. So thank you very much. I hope you're having a good week. Until next time. Enjoy.